On today's episode of Amanda Felix Eats, we'll be featuring some local Ono grinds. That's gonna be the rest of the video, just mmm, mmm, mmm. That thing is bomb. And we do have a special guest on today's episode. And also some Ono desserts, so you guys don't wanna miss it. So let's get into today's video. Let's get going. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Felix, that's Amanda, and we're a locally born and raised couple here on Oahu. And we take you guys on all of our foodie adventures. And for today's video, we are here because we found this spot that's really, really famous on Big Island, new to Oahu. So of course we had to take you guys along to try it out. And guys, stay tuned because we're about to show you guys some jaw-dropping Ono local grinds. And some would say it's broke them out. You know what I mean? Hint, hint. And of course, we have a special guest that will be joining us today. It's Devon. <laughs> you guys already knew that by now. She's here, so that means a lot of epic grinds, a lot more selections coming your way. Oh, and we do have a dessert segment coming up. So stay tuned for everything. You don't want to miss this one. Right, Furio Hano. So we are here today in the area of Kapole. The ladies are so excited, they went way ahead of me. It looks like the Kapole Entertainment Center. And guys, this is a hidden gem. Some of you have recommended us to come down here just to try out this local plate lunch spot. So we are super excited. You know how we feel about our plate lunches. And we are here already. There's the ladies, and here we are. Broke the mouth grinds. If you guys don't know what broke the mouth is, we're about to explain it to you. Ohana. So we are here on the west side of Oahu at a couple of entertainment center where Consolidated Theaters is. And guys, this place just opened up a month ago. They do have a location on the Big Island. Original location is on Big Island. They've been around on the Big Island for 10 years now, <laughs> serving up massive plate lunches, feeding the local community. So we are here today at Broke the Mount Grinds. And for those of you who don't know what that means, that means the food is so good, your jaw just drops on the ground and you gotta pick it up later when you're pow eating or when you're finished eating. It's a phrase that us locals here use, broke them out. You guys will hear it quite often when yeah. you're here. <laughs> so we're pretty excited to get our jaws broken and we did put in our orders. We're sitting outside, it's a nice windy day. and um, It's very bright, so if I'm looking like I'm giving you guys stink eye. I'm not. It's just very, very bright out she here. She probably is. <laughs> but anyway, the line here was really crazy. We're waiting for our food now. So this place is very, very popular. And we did meet a few of you subscribers here. So it was really great meeting all of you. And thank you for watching and supporting us. We would not have known about this place if it wasn't for you subscribers. So, you know, keep continuing to send those recommendations. We'd love to hear from you guys. And this is a total hidden gem. Us townies, we did not hear about this place. No. It did not reach town yet. The menu so far, it looks extensive. It looks awesome. They even have crazy, like, fancy stuff. Like, we saw one of their specials for today. It's a tomahawk steak that feeds three people. We did not get that, though. Because we have a <laughs> because we do have a birthday video tomorrow. Yes. Oh, oh that was fast. Thank you. Thank you. We have the mushrooms with aioli sauce. Wow. And, and I like brought your one. sides and these are utensils. Oh, thank Can you we so bring much. some sharing plates? Oh um, yes, please. Yes. That would be great. Thank yes. you so much. Oh. It's like the appetizers came out already, guys. And this is a takeout kind of takeout slash they have some dining. Yeah, man, the service is so great. They brought out our food in these little cool like. What I know. Look, it's a it's a ukulele like platter looking thing. Very this cool. Is, this is so cool. And this one looks like a canoe. <laughs> oh, spicy wow. garlic pudding cookie Ooh, chicken. Wow. wow, thank you. We got one more coming yet. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say this is uh, your guys most known dish? It is. So definitely the pork adobo fries, the spicy okay. chicken. The beef luau seems to be like a local favorite from oh, a lot okay. of locals here. Okay. And that's new. We just brought that on. Oh, it's right. starting to get popular, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, you. but these two for sure. These two oh. for sure. Okay, yeah. so we did good then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Furio Hana, so everything came out lightning quick. 
or in this case, lickety split. I love the whole wood decor here. And this looks like the shape of a Chinaman's hat. I don't no. know. We got four different things, two main plates and two appetizers. They look amazing. And the lovely lady that was working did mention that we got some of their most known item so we're super excited to try it out on the big island location of broke them out they're very known for this garlic chicken spicy garlic chicken we'll talk more about like their ordering process when we get into the main dishes but we really want to try the appetizers look at we gotta, that we gotta do this one first oh, yes. my mouth was salivating when we're doing all the b-roll shots yes and as you guys know we love anything adobo and this is adobo fries not just any fries amanda they have their signature twisty fries what oh, is it's a, a twisty fry what is a twisty fry felix tell me please that's when the fries curled up like a tornado oh my goodness i didn't even know that's a thing if tender pork adobo wasn't crazy enough we got some tornado fries on here i'm gonna try the uh, adobo by itself because come on come on food i gotta try the fry by itself because i'm a fry gal you guys know oh, that man. oh look how tender and juicy this adobo looks oh my goodness Ooh, look at that nice browning of the color all right mm. oh mm. Mm. oh man Ooh gelatinous heaven oh gosh wow. the fries are crispy on the outside but very tender on the inside definitely if you're a crispy fry kind of person this is going to be up your alley the adobo nice vinegary notes to it very soft they use pork belly here that fat just renders down in your mouth so nicely coating their tongue with all that porky goodness nice light crunch of the fries very meaty mm. man is doing it little fries shimmy over there and the sauce is kind of like a aioli a little bit of sweetness as well and the pork is a little bit sour but not super sour it doesn't mm. overpower anything mm -hmm. everything just works well together and oh. they do have a yeah. pork adobo fried rice as well oh. oh okay let's get into the mushroom i got a siamese mushroom twin thing going on here oh don't drop it it's it's Ooh. connected Ooh. so these are their appetizer it's a beer battered mushroom what kind of sauce is this maybe it's their signature aioli with Kamaboko sauce? No. Kabayaki. Kabayaki. Ooh, I don't even know where to bite. Mmm. 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 So juicy, the mushroom. Whoa. The umami from the mushroom and the sauce goes together so well. Mm. The mushroom is very meaty and it is very moist on the inside. So that sauce is like crack. I'm going to dip my twister adobo fry in that sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet, savory, nice mm. umami from the mushroom. A hint of beer flavor from the beer batter. These are beer battered mushrooms, guys. And you guys, if you didn't know, the Vons and me are big fans of mushroom. So anytime there's something mushroom, we always try to get it. And it's not too heavy, surprisingly. The batter is very light as well. It's a perfect appetizer, guys. If you love mushrooms and you're thinking about ordering this, don't think any further, just do it. Trust yeah. us. Honestly, I was iffy about it, but Felix talked me into it and I am mm. not regretting it at all. So now guys, we're moving on to the entrees. And the first one we got is the garlic chicken, their spicy garlic chicken, what? Their spicy garlic fried chicken. What? Spicy garlic foodie cocky chicken. Foodie cocky chicken, I'm so sorry. And this is what they're known for in the big island. So of course you had to get it today. And when you order, you can choose between sides and you can also choose the rice. The starch. The starch. Today we got a spicy kimchi fried rice because why not? Spicy theme, you even get the chili pepper wada on the side. Well, for those of you subscribers that remember, whenever there's an upgrade available, do yourselves a favor, get the upgrade. It's there for a reason, Foodie Ohana, you won't regret it. So we did just that. We got the upgrade of the kimchi fried rice. And you can also choose a side, and the sides are massive. It comes in this huge Tupperware, and we got their tuna. Tuna egg mac. Tuna egg macaroni salad. It looks very um, typical of a macaroni salad, but it does have tuna in it with, you know, mayo and carrots and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, my fork just like glided through the meat. I love that sweet garlicky smell. You can even smell the fruity cocky on here. Look at this big piece, okay. I wanted a small piece, but I feel like I got the biggest piece. No, no, look at this bombucha. <laughs> this thing is gonna break the mouth, if you know what I mean. Cheers, guys. 
Ooh, it's starting to rain. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Did you just stuff the whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> it's very juicy and the sauce, oh my god. It's kind of saucy, but in a good way. It's not overly saucy. You get the sweet, the creamy, the spicy, umami. That was a two-biter. I've said it once before, I'll say it again. Hawaii is the unofficial chicken morsel capital of the world. If you have not tried garlic chicken yet in Hawaii when you're visiting, what are you doing? Come down here and try their garlic fried chicken because it is amazing. Man, the morsels are so tender, so juicy, light, crisp texture on the outside, not heavily battered, sweet, soy, garlicky marinade, mm -hmm. fried to perfection, and then delicious, Hawaii. I don't even know anymore. Nice, healthy dose of sweet chili aioli all over. Let's try mm -hmm. it with some chili pepper water. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm! Mm. Whoa! Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be the rest of the video. Just mmm, mmm, mmm. That thing is bomb. That chili pepper water is really good. Oh my god. I'm usually not a fan of chili pepper water because it's kind of like, you know, watery. This one is potent and it coats the chicken and it gives a little kick. I was gonna say I wish that spicy sauce on the chicken was a little more spicier. You dip it in that chili pepper water. Oh my goodness, that's where the spice is at, guys. Let's try the mac salad. I like that, like you said, they put in these containers because you know it's, they give you a lot of food here, Foodio Hana. They know you're not gonna finish everything, so yes. these containers are very nice. A nice, healthy serving of mac salad, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Not my typical favorite style mac salad, but I can dig this. It is very creamy. If you don't like tuna, I don't know if you're gonna like this one, but if you're a tuna lover like us, you'll like it. It does go really well with the spicy chicken because of the calming and cooling mayo, but let's try this spicy. Oh, I've been eating it. Oh, you have? I no. didn't even try it yet. Kimchi fried rice. It's really good. I just wish there was a little more kimchi flavor. Mm. But I like the nice coloring. I do like the savoriness element to it. Oh, look, I got a big piece of kimchi. Oh, maybe that's why. Mm. I do taste some savoriness, like bacon or something. So this next dish was calling our name, and you guys know we love our squid luau's and just any luau in general. So it's pretty <laughs> much slow simmered stewed luau leaf cooked in coconut milk. It's kind of like a collard green, collard greens, but without the collard greens. With luau leaves instead. Yeah, and it's coconut milk tender loving care process to cook luau. And also guys, we went with just plain white rice for this one. And this is a short rib, right? Or Big bone beef rib. Oh, this beef This thing rib. is massive, guys. Not a short rib. <laughs> we got the big one today. The big boy is here to play. And for the side, we got a sweet potato, Okinawan sweet potato with bacon and egg. egg. It's like a take on their regular potato salad, but upgraded with bacon. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. We gotta try that. But first, the star of the show here, big boy beef rib. Let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, How look. Clean that Come is. on, Furio Hano. It's coming out in real time. You guys saw it here. You, look, look. Oh. It just comes right off, guys. Fall off the bone. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. The bone just comes right off. You know, this thing is very, very tender. It's clean, off the bone. Don't be intimidated by the greenness of it. I wanna try the luau first, just plain without the beef. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, nice, creamy, mm. tender leaves. Mm. Super coconutty. You can really taste the coconut cream in here, coconut milk. Yeah, so I wanna try the beef. Rendered milk. down perfectly. Let's try what, yeah, like, hit of the, some of that. I'm just awesome. gonna try the beef by itself. Mmm. Mmm. So delicate. The beef by itself didn't have much flavor though. I gotta try it all together. Mmm. Yeah, all together. It needs a little more salt, but man, the flavors go well together. That creaminess from the coconut milk, beefiness from that beef rib. Mm. This is like a local man's plate right here. For some reason, I feel really healthy eating this. Yeah, like <laughs> you, got, you got everything you need on this one plate. You got mm. your greens, you got your proteins, and you got your rice, your carbs. I really like the little flecks of garlic on here. Mm. That's a little kind of spice, garlicky note to it. Definitely, I think this would have been really good with the adobo fried rice on the bottom. Yeah. It would have kicked it up a notch. Okay, I'm gonna try this too. 
Oh, that's good. Ooh, like you can that. get all the bacon. You see all the bacon in there? You're gonna like that. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sweet potato was the best choice for this. Saltiness from the bacon, creaminess from the egg and some mayo. Definitely get the sweet potato side as a salad. And a hint of sweetness from the sweet potato as well. So far, I think everything was a home run. For me, my favorite is still pork adobo fries. Oh man. Yeah, definitely if you guys come here and get anything with adobo because the adobo is really, really good. And also the furikake spicy chicken. If you don't like spicy, they do have regular furikake garlic chicken. So you don't have to get the spicy. But if you like spicy, definitely try it out. It was really good. To be honest, everything was pretty good today so far that we yeah. had. Like, And the prices were really affordable too. But yeah, guys, definitely check them out. As always, we leave the links down in the description below. Guys, I'm sorry if this is going to offend anyone, but I'm going to try some of the beef luau with my spicy foodie coffee garlic chicken because why not I'm gonna add some of that creamy coconut texture to the chicken mm. <laughs> mm. guys i'm having a blast right now you mm. can tell by the green stuff on your mouth <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys you don't want to miss it coming up next dessert segment as you can see it is a there's a sudden downpour so originally we were gonna go get some shave ice, like a local shave ice spot. But instead, I think we're gonna do dessert a little differently today. Finally, it's a weekend so I can catch up with Felix and Amanda and join their Kapolei adventures for today. Broke them out. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. If you have not been here before and you live in town especially, you know, think about maybe taking a trip down to the Kapolei to the west side and you know, try out their delicious grinds here. Like, it's so good. My favorite was the fried mushrooms. I love mushrooms and it was so light. It literally explodes in your mouth because of the liquid, but even though it looks like very scary because it's huge, but it tastes so light and like, you know, that little slight crisp. It's not even that like super oily. Like it's so good. Like I just, and that sauce that it came with, you just kept wanting to dip in. So you probably saw me on the side just keep using the sauce with the mushrooms. It was so good. Otherwise, everything here was just really delicious. Like I didn't have any complaints about the garlic chicken, beef rib luau was really good, pork adobo tornado fries, oh my gosh. You know, a lot of times I end up just liking the very classic fry because I want it to still remain crispy. I'm a crispy girl, okay, so I like the crispy fries. But despite the fact it had the pork adobo on it, it was still crispy. As long as you ate it like right when it came out, it was so delicious. And the great part is that I don't feel bad. Like, you know, again, usually when you eat these kind of meals, and as you guys know, right, it's they're so plentiful so by the time you eat it you feel maybe sick or you feel like you might never want to come back at least for a while but no I I wouldn't even mind coming back again tomorrow because there's even other dishes that we haven't tried here that sounds amazing here too so um, honestly if you guys haven't gone here definitely come here at least once to try this drink that I got is their strawberry mango lemonade they actually have a different variety of lemonades so if you guys want to try out their lemonades as well um i got the strawberry mango and so far from tasting it it tasted very light and refreshing so here let me try this is the small jar they have a large jar as well so this is the small one yeah. it's so good it has it's like the lemonade gives you that sweet tartness but Honestly, it, the strawberry and mango like mixed in together. You know, especially if you love, if you always love getting those jarred lemonades when you go to those food truck events, um, this is no different. It's just as sweet, just as refreshing. So definitely give it a go. So many different flavors. So you probably will find one that you will like. We're gonna go on to the dessert segment and I can see Amanda's mouth watering right now because she's staring at it intensely. So let's go and head and get that dessert going. All right, guys, this is the monstrous dessert. Can you see that? It is huge. It's literally a quarter of a pie. Oh my goodness. That's literally one third of the bottom of the barrel of ice cream. Yeah, like legit. So here they have gargantuan ultimate ice cream pies. And we got their signature, the ube pie. Guys, this is one thick ice cream baby. I mean, Ooh. carving into that, it made me feel like a judo master trying to chop all the wooden blocks. Oh. And I think I passed. 
This is like a ube ice cream cake. Yeah, it's ube ice cream cake with graham cracker crust. Cheers. Mmm. 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 You know who would love this? Jay. Jay Cation. He loves ube. Oh. Mmm. Oh, we should have took him here for this ube cake. That graham cracker crust on the bottom. Mmm. It's a little hard because it is a ice cream cake. The crust is going to be a little on the harder side, and it is graham cracker. So you want to get that nice layer, and once you get to the bottom, make a fist, crack oh that gosh. glorious crust. Oh. See, otherwise that's going to happen. It's all about technique and form. And I think it's condensed milk on top, mm -hmm. that nice creamy sauce on top. All of you ube mm. lovers are gonna love this. The graham cracker crust really goes well with this too. For all of you guys who've been watching for a while, you know what ube is, but if you don't know what ube is, it's a purple yam, very prevalent in Filipino cooking for desserts. Mm. Oh, this thing is decadent though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too bad it started raining. We would have gone to a dessert place. I mean, a uh, shave ice place. I mean, once the rain clears, maybe we can get that. Double dessert segment? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, it's like um, <laughs> under construction over here. <laughs> so. so right across the way from Broke the Mount Grinds is another little mini mall. Don't even know what this mini mall is called, but they do have some dessert places here, including a Boba shop, of course. Because <laughs> yes. we're way, way too full to eat anymore. Yes. So we are probably just gonna get some drinks, mm -hmm. talk story on camera with you guys, and I need to watch my step before I eat more than just pies and plate lunches. Probably eat a mouthful of cement and asphalt. But anyway, oh, they have a Chunwa cam here too. Watch out, car. We'll see you guys in the boba store. snacks here. Looks like Yvonne found her uh, shopping hall here. You guys see anything that looks good in Furio Hano? Anything that's nostalgic to you guys? Furio Hano, we are back in the car because we are hiding or we're seeking shelter from the rain and <laughs> the downpour. So right across the way was Hula Boba. They're really known here in Kapole. And we did get their pineapple lihing green tea. It's 50% sweet. And because we got the large size, we could choose three different toppings. So we got regular original jelly, pineapple jelly, and mango jelly. What's the stars? That's the mango jelly. Interesting. Oh, there, yeah, you guys didn't see it. It's pretty interesting how you can choose two different flavors to choose three. with your tea. Oh, three? Yeah. I thought it was only... No, two flavors with the tea and three um, toppings. As you guys can tell, we're severely Kanak attacking right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was struggling <laughs> to readjust my jaw back into my mouth. <laughs> and then what did you get, Vaughn? This place is kind of like a mom and pop store and there's a lot of snacks. So I got broccoli chips. Broccoli um, chips? Cauliflower chips. Crispy grape chips and the tempura mushroom flavor. I wasn't kidding about the mushroom. I like mushroom. <laughs> Did you get anything that wasn't crispy? Uh, no, I mean, they're all snap. They're all chips. It's more like chips and sweets, but I like to bring them for school, you know, whenever you want to snack on something. This tastes like salted plum, not really like, or salted lemon. This feels like a clogged straw. I can't <laughs> suck anything up. It's too many top. You gotta drink from the top. The Li Hang tastes like um, Jan Mui or whatever, whatever you guys call it. Ooh, there's something in here that tastes like as aspartame. The Li Hang is more of a um, salted salted lemon. Interesting, not my favorite. I'm mm. sorry, it's, uh, I'm just being honest. I really like the jellies though. I think mm -hmm. that's what they're known for because they have, you can get like so many different ones. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of different toppings. That was really cool.
Yeah, yeah. it just tastes like Lee Hing. The Lee Hing tastes like the, the Vietnamese one. Yeah, it just tastes like powder. The lemon. Jan Mui or whatever you call it. Salted lemon? Yeah, salted lemon. No, 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 no. It does not taste like salted lemon. Big mahalo to everyone that's been supporting and watching us so far. And we want to thank Foodie Ohana, some special subscribers that have donated or contributed to the channel. Starting with Anthony and Donnell R. Thank you so much for supporting us and your donations. We really appreciate it. Mahalo so much. It really means a lot to us. The next person is Felipe and Myrna. Thank you guys so much for your support and your contribution. And you guys did mention that you guys really wanted to try malasadas when you guys were here. Definitely highly recommend trying malasadas. Malasadas? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely recommend getting malasadas here in Hawaii. They're very, very famous here. The places we usually go are like Leonard's or... Pipeline Cafe. Pipeline they have Cafe. Um, pretty good malasadas. Or we go to Cam. Uh, Cam Bakery, Kamehameha Bakery also for their poi malasadas. So definitely check them out when you guys are here. And again, thank you so much for your support. And the next lady we want to give special thank you to, Lori D. Mahalo so much. It was really nice meeting you. Thank you so much for just the continued support and we really appreciate it, Lori. Mahalo. Mahalo so much, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. And the next person we want to give a big shout out to is Patrick J. Thank you so much for your contribution and wanting to donate towards one of our dinner episodes or a dinner on you that really means a lot to us truly appreciate it thank you so much thank you patrick and the next couple that always always been supporting us from the beginning andrew and michelle l thank you so much again for your continued support thank you for the birthday wishes as well if you guys didn't know my birthday was recently i was the one that implemented the bond skits whenever we run into her unfortunately we didn't do one today man was over it yeah We're, it was raining you guys and it was just yeah that was like, that's like my highlight of the video, you know, coming up with these skits. But anyway, love, love those as well. Thank you so much again, guys, for your support. Mahalo so much, Andrew and Michelle. And the next couple that we want to give a big thank you to is Alan and Brandy DM. Thank you guys so much for your contribution. We're so glad that you loved the Top 10 Cheap Eats episode. We've been really wanting to put that type of episode out for you guys, especially during the times right now where we can support local and get some massive plates at the same time. But again, thank you so much for your support. And the next couple, Judy and Yuji, you know who you are. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes, supporting us, continuing to support us, watching us, and talking story with us. You guys are the best. Mahalo, Judy and Yuji. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate you guys. And of course, big, big mahalos to each and every one of you that have been watching us, supporting us, staying subscribed. We would not be here without any of you. So. Oh, yes. We made two years on YouTube as well. Two years, Fuyohana. Yes. Dang, where does the time go? In my belly, perhaps, because it's getting bigger. For those of you who've been asking where you can donate, we do have our donation links in the About Me section or in the description box, but no obligation whatsoever. We're just happy to have you guys as our Furio Hana and, you know, just enjoy the show. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, because why not? And it's the most easiest way to support us. It's completely free, definitely no obligation. And we do want to say we just started channel memberships. <gasps> yes. What is that? So it's actually $2.99 every month. And you guys can see us posting personal things just to the membership section of our YouTube channel. So if you're not a member, you wouldn't be able to see it, but definitely no obligation. Our regular videos and such are not gonna change. It's gonna be completely the same. It's just some extra added content. And also you guys will have like a badge next to your name and stuff. And as you guys know, we do live chats maybe once a month um, or every other month. So so when we do live chats, you guys will have a special badge next to your name and also when you comment on our videos. So that way we know you guys are a Foodie Ohana member. So thank you guys again. And if you guys want to get that extra content from us, then definitely subscribe to our membership. Dang, get your badge right now, Foodie Ohana, and stand up for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Wish and, I got a badge. And again, thank you so much for coming along on today's food adventure. We truly appreciate every single one of you. And we'll see you on the next video. Till the next one, eat your spicy garlic fried chicken, eat your ube pies, bobas, all that good jazz. Peace out. See you on the next one. Bye, guys. And awesome. So, uh, uh, what? And guys, this Ooh. is it. Oh my God. It is a windy day. Well, it's no. the Kapolei Entertainment Center where Regal Theatres is. Literally right next door. No, it's not Regal. It's consolidated. Regal oh. is at... Um, Kapolei Commons. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, something flew in my eyeball. You know when you, whenever you do this, just look at the camera. 
Well, the table is very shaky. Definitely a fan if you're a crispy guy. What? Let's get into the mushroom. I don't want to leave you. We're not leaving anywhere. I don't know what. I'm not ready to move on. Oh, oh, oh. What? My jaw just fell on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I just broke my mouth eating here. Oh, God. Oh. We're definitely having a great time, Fuyana. So you got to cut out. They didn't see it. Of course. Do it again. Oh. The ube crust is, I mean, the graham cracker crust. For all of you guys have that blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. <laughs> you got it or what? Well, that's why you gotta do the hand, double hand technique. <laughs> no one listens to me, Fudi Ohana. You gotta Plus. use your right hand. That's your strong oh, yeah. hand. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> and then you gotta... The Vaughn is actually left-handed, yeah. but for some reason, her right hand is <laughs> a monster. No oh, crumbs man. on my side. <laughs> Crummy aftermath on their side. That's really bad. <laughs>